We have a brand new teaser trailer for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which means it's beyond a Potter fever dream. It's real. And Eddie Redmayne's in it. Let's take a look. A case full of magical creatures. And unfortunately, some have escaped. Was open? Just a smidge. It's just command. feelings about this okay. most of them are great I'm really excited for this movie yeah being real and existing and being a thing <laughs> because you know I hear these things like oh it's going to happen but right then we finally get to see it going on and it's so fun and I, I this is uh. an exciting movie for a few reasons uh, we're going outside of the Harry Potter story way outside before James Potter I think Dumbledore's alive and around at this point yes uh, but uh, not many of the the main characters or the Marauders uh, from the books as we know them so okay this is 70 years before the uh, story of Harry Potter which sets it I think in the 20s yeah yeah. Because Harry Potter set in the 90s. Uh, it's based on Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which J.K. Rowling actually wrote in 2001. Yeah. It's a good book. Uh, but in the canon, in the book within a book, it was written around 1918, commissioned by Augustus Worm. I know a lot right. about a fake book. Uh, <laughs> and it was published in 26. So one can assume that it was... This movie takes place between 1918 and 1926. Right, so he's writing the books through As this trilogy. Goes. Okay. Um, and then if you look at the the actual book that you can buy, there's a big scratch mark on the front, which goes along with the claim, like, this is his book. But no, that that doesn't work, because in the book, it, it, Ron has written in the margins, yeah. little funny notes, and uh, Dumbledore has written the foreword explaining this is for charity, and it's not real, and don't worry, kids, it's all good. Um, wow, it, you know it, it a lot about this. It does say that in the, yeah, I, I I know what I've I've won a game show based on Harry Potter knowledge. I like this stuff. So in this this movie is starring Eddie Redmayne. Uh, he's gone to a conference in New York, uh, brought the beasts along, and what I can assume is a suitcase similar to the one Hermione stored the tent in in uh, Deathly Hollows. Yeah. Uh, and he has accidentally set them loose, which means also there's Americans in this movie. Good. None of the. Brandon, none of the Harry Potter movies <laughs> featured, you know, there were a couple American actors, yeah. uh, but portraying uh, British people, you know, Scottish, English, Welsh, right, Which just isn't the same. It's just not the same. We need some burgers and french fries that's yeah. in this movie. Um, I don't think we could see much of that. I think we'll see more 1920s period stuff. Um, had hot dogs. This right? is also the first time J.K. Rowling has screenwritten. She did yes. not screenwrite the Harry Potter movies. Yes. That was Steve Cloves. Yes, I spelled it right. Uh, Steve Cloves uh, wrote them all, and this is the, her first attempt to do this. Now, this can't possibly follow how Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, find them goes exactly, no. given the nature of the book. Yeah. So there's a lot of room to explore. I actually am, the reason I'm really excited about this franchise is mm -hmm. because uh, it, you know, Harry Potter was adapted. And I think there's just a lot of baggage that comes along with adaptations, making them in, in four screen. Naturally, yeah. So this is the first Harry Potter thing where it's like we're not really bound to a book. We're not bound to tell that story. We can we can create our own thing. So I actually think the the pacing and and everything will or should be better in these movies. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be good, and we yeah. actually have no expectations, or few expectations to base them on. Audience, what do you think so far of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? We can catch it November 2016, and then we have the Universal Studios, Wizarding World Harry Potter opening up in April, so 2016 is going to be a Potterful year, y'all, at least for me. Let me know what you think below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.